Yo, what is up, guys? It's me, Ellie. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice sounds a little weird. Um, I'm just starting to get sick, so that's fun. But this week on Online Outcast, this week's theme is Halloween, which is basically Halloween week. And last week, we did kind of incorporate the Halloween theme into our videos with the scary gaming. But this week, even after Halloween, Hannah still posted the day before, so we're continuing with that. And even though Halloween just ended, it's still the middle of fall. And it's nice to just, I don't know, kind of keep the scary theme going until like Thanksgiving. And then I feel like we can start getting into the Christmas stuff. I know some of y'all get into it really early, boo-boos. So anyways, to honor the theme of Halloween, I'm going to be telling you guys and myself, just educating myself about the legend of Slender Man. So I was thinking of doing um, Five Nights at Freddy's, and I know that sounds like kind of weird, but um, I kind of know like the backstory of Five Nights at Freddy's a little bit better than Slender Man. Slender Man, I kind of don't really know anything, but um, for Five Nights at Freddy's, like I know the inspiration was from like Chuck E. Cheese and like the crazy things that happen after Chuck E. Cheese closes, like you know what I mean? But but for Slender Man, I really have no idea where the inspiration came from or what motivated the creators of the game. Oh my goodness gracious. To make the game, things like that. So I'm going to be reading, basically, I have this website. Not very fond of the name, but it's playwithdeath.com. If you want to read the full um, story, I guess, or legend, I will have it in the description box. Isn't it fun that I'm telling you guys a story with my throat kind of messed up? Whatever. Anyways, okay, so I found this. Okay, Urban Legends, the terrible legend of Slender Man. So this is what he looks like. You all know, like, he has, like, the white kind of face and, like, the tuck, like, the, oh my god, the super long arms. There are legends and myths that have been around for centuries and have seared themselves into our minds and culture. There are... What? What up? Ellie. I'm 19 and I never fucking learned how to read. Then there are those that have been brought to life by way of modern technologies, reminding us of nightmares that should have been buried and forgotten. One such legend is known through internet popularity as Slender Man. The creature known as Slender Man is said to have the appearance of a tall, lanky man in a black suit. Not so scary, right? Just wait. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what the game looks like. We all know we have to navigate through the forest and find the pages, and then he like kind of pops up. It's really not that scary, honestly, because like there's a static you knows it come, you know that it's coming, and then you just kind of stay in the face. Whatever, but it's still a fun game. He towers at six to seven, f six feet. That's not that bad. Seven feet. It's a little more taller, but like six feet. I've seen taller kids at my school. With unusually thin limbs, <clears throat> his face, if you can call it that, is featureless and white. Though some say it can morph into whatever you fear the most. So kind of like Pennywise? His arms, however, could stretch out to grab his victims and bend in unnatural ways with long, talon-like fingers used to scratch at the windows of children. I'm filming right! Oh my goodness gracious. Also, I don't know if I already said, but I'm in my parents' room just for like a change of scenery. And it's like, I don't know, prettier, less messy. Okay. While he haunts everyone who has the misfortune to see him, he prefer he prefers to devour those that are 16 and younger. He is also said to have multiple arms, sometimes seen as long tentacles used to ensnare whomever catches his eye, or should I say the void where his face should be. Ugh. The Silent Stalker, Slenderman. Slenderman is a silent stalker that likes to hide in plain sight and is usually spotted in wooden areas where he'll blend in amongst the trees. Oh! A form of hypnosis? So he hypnotizes you. Usually glimpsed at a distance when he's close enough to get a good look at, that's when he slinks into your home, appearing in dark hallways or blank TV screens. That makes more sense on why it's staticky. American legend says that he was once a man. Oh god, this is where it starts to get real. I hate this. Who was tortured viciously. First be Oh, I thought that was a beaten with a dog. Beaten with a log. Then impaled with a two-foot stick and hung from tree. Oh, a tree. 
with his arms, ew, and legs pulled from their sockets. So he was like, ew, why was he tortured like this? When captured, you will wait to find Slenderman standing above you. He will ask one question. And if you're lucky to get it right, he, <laughs> he, he breaks both your arms and legs. Fun. If you are wrong, he stole, ew, he slowly sticks his fingers down your throat. Pulling out the heart. It appears that the Slenderman myth goes back a lot, a lot farther than is claimed. He is based on something called Dirk Gross, what Grossman? Dirk Grossman? Noah Grossman, meaning tall man. Oh no! Again, I'm leaving this in the description. Y'all can like check it out with me. So tall man is the Germanic version, and legend says that children would sight him in the Black Forest days before their disappearance. All that was left behind would be the mutilated remains of livestock, and in a few cases. Village inhabitants would be found several miles from their homes, impaled on the higher branches of the, the trees. Oh my goodness. Internet fiction or not, Slenderman and Dee has horrifying origins and lore from the old world. What makes this myth so fearful is the fact to this day, people are still questioning the existence of this humanoid creature. Websites flooded with people claiming to have had sightings of him? Especially those that live near wooded areas. Oh, thank the Lord. I... If you live near a wooded area, or like by a forest. <coughs> Even more terrifying is that he had been known to imitate the voice of a human calling out your name in the dark. That's terrifying. And it seems like the more you talk about or research Slenderman, oh, the more likely you are to encounter him bringing life to a supposed legend. All I can say is now I have a new reason to be afraid of the dark. Me too, boo-boo. Me Two. When was this even made? August 2012. I don't know um if that was a movie I saw, but I did see a movie about Slender Man, and um it was kind of boring to be honest. Like it was like kind of a documentary type movie, but it was not like a fake documentary movie, kind of like The Visit. But um me and my friend watched it, and we didn't really like it. We stopped watching it, but I still do find it like I don't know. Is it just me? Like whenever I see something scary it's mostly like in scary movies sometimes i'll do it just in regular movies too but mostly scary movies because i'm like how did they think of this like i just like to know like what was their mindset how did they think of these things especially like some scary movies are super like twisted what was the inspiration or influence for this that's why i like watching shows like beyond stranger things and stuff if you watch stranger things and you liked it um and you haven't watched Beyond Stranger Things yet, it's also on Netflix. And um, there's some episodes, how many times can I flip my hair? It's basically where they have cast and the creators of the show and the director and like the host um, just talk about like what went on behind Stranger Things and why they decided to do it. And that's why, I don't know, I really love um, knowing more about like movies and stuff because it's just like, it's fascinating. Like, like, am I gonna get killed by Slender Man now? Hopefully not. Okay, so I think that about wraps it up. Um, I don't know, was that I hope that was a good video. I hope y'all learned a little bit more about Slender Man. I know I did. I had no idea that he was like a real thing and like an actual thing in Germany, like an actual legend kind of thing actually yeah and I didn't know that like I just had literally no idea where the storyline or game came from so it was cool to know I hope you guys enjoyed um Halloween and next week I chose the theme boo-boos y'all better, better be excited but um I hope you enjoyed this and subscribe if you haven't already I'm an outcast me Hannah Ryan Serena we make videos of four out of the seven days of the week. Really cool. Really, I want to say nice content, but coming from all three of the others, nice content. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed. And good boo-boo. Good boo-boo. Goodbye. How's your Wednesday, Wednesday, kids and Slenderman enthusiasts?